Hello everyone and welcome back to Humankind Turn 151. Um, looking at Hippo Regius is a city that we just conquered, but it's a very bad one. And I think we can actually ransack our own city. Right? Destroy it in the process. Um, and after that, territory will be lost and we can resettle an outpost here. And this is really working. Perfect. Because that means we can use this one as an outpost to Memphis. Let's build an outpost on it right away. So we claimed it right because having this city here would be bad for development um it's a bad location overall um and there's also nothing close by that we could claim then also we would be above the city cap so i'd rather raise it for now we get some money out of it um and now this outpost here is being developed how much does it cost to attach 1500 all right that's not so far away right it's still giving us a bit of industry here later on um it's still a very remote location though i think i'm going to move my main troops up there again we are probably going to keep one swordsman in this area and that's the end of it right so my two star swordsman here let's keep this one and the rest goes just so that we have one or that we have something here to protect it just in case and the rest goes up there again to memphis then we have also a new civic that we can choose from a schism in the heart let's also just check our civics there in general this one gives me the open-minded influence on territories follow the state religion i really don't like the religion uh, tree though so i'm not going for that there we actually get a nice one this one gives us a new city cap or stability on the capital which is also not so bad gets us closer to author key, uh, authority though and this one gets us closer to liberty i'm not choosing any one of these yet because we don't need that city cap nor do we need really that stability we are fine it's going up again as it should and that's pretty much the end of it for now on, on this one though i can't build any more districts in memphis at the moment what we could do is we could do some infrastructure projects um for example down here for my science we have the yep science the, the school the science per research quarter we do have quite a few of them let's go ahead and do this and we've also finished here our next obelisk of the gods another powerful stability increase also a bit of faith but stability here is my main kind of like my main concern for the city development that we have up there um, and now i can focus again we could build a cothon here so that's some food and um industry because i do have these like uh, lakes there i could also probably yep build a very nice maker quote here and i think we should just do that close to these mountains we can use both of them right to get a nice a really nice um industry boost out of it so let's go ahead and do this and for science we could also build something bigger here for science but stability of course is the main concern right now by the way by the way by the way this one also has nothing right now we could yeah build another obelisk here to an attached territory of it here would be useful because this city is already suffering a bit from penalty uh from well those stability penalties and it's not that long also there's the cothon yeah a very bad and small one so let's get this one on the way and a bit further outside. There we have it. And no one is helping for now. <laughs> Alright, the Burgundians are getting a bit aggressive here. They're trying to ransack one of our outposts. Of course, we're not allowing that. Let's move and destroy them. I think they're attacking. Perfect. We are stronger overall. We do need that anyway. That's pretty good because it gives us that movement, uh, that military boost, right? We still need to destroy some military units there. One. Um, and then we do get that star. And as we can see... Um, oh, wait a second. Let's actually put those archers in the middle. They're being protected by swordsmen on both sides. So I'm not expecting anything there. And we can just really attack them up, up here with our <laughs> special unit that is just very strong overall. And they have no way really of doing anything there. And they will just get crushed here, as we can see, on the cliffs, even though they're not even trying. How dare they, really, trying to ransack my my little territory there. I'm also moving up here with a few more units, and we do get the next um, star. Perfect. The next star, and we only need one more star. That's one more attack, basically, and we can advance to the next era. I haven't seen any Sith yet advancing to the next era, so we might have a free choice then of everything that is available. Let's just do this one here. Of course, they're trying it, but that's it. Perfect. So we haven't lost a unit there. We're also not getting any rewards, unfortunately. But what can you do about that? Well, let's move my troops then up again. 
over here on that border, I would I would really like to try and get this territory there, to be honest. It's still only an outpost. It's still nothing more. Um, we can still march in there without any war declaration. Let's go ahead and try this. There is a direct path going down then. Right? So next turn we can see it. Um, and hopefully we can ransack this one and take it for us. That might be an option. A man of ambition, the exploits of the regiment are celebrated across the empire with tales of their famous victories, sought after in nobles' libraries and immortalized in verse. Rumor has it that their commander is something of a charismatic orator and has ambitions for the highest political office. Promote him towards homelands or marginalize it towards authority. Let's promote him. There's a very low chance for bad consequences from this. But that's it. I'm not expecting anything here. There's only a sewer. I mean, a sewer is pretty powerful. Oh my goodness. Step past your peers in relative levels of notoriety. I think they're it's expanding pretty quickly. At. I think here we have those guys it. there, the Morians. They're yourself. extremely weak, right? There's, They might be an option for me to conquer. There might be something here that we could take from it. Yep. They're just extremely weak. I still have my little tribe problem up there. As we can see, very, very harsh north. There's, That's going to be pretty, pretty chaotic over there. And I'm moving, I'm continuing moving my troops up there to the north. We're going to need them there. I'm pretty sure of that. All right. Uh, Memphis can help in the shared project that we have to finish this one in three turns. Perfect. Next turn, we can now move my troops down here and just have a look at what's happening there. There they are. So the ransacking in the next turn makes sense. Owned by the Greeks at the moment. Uh, the city. Hmm. We have six pops in there. We have a very, very strong growth overall. So let's put the, the growth not to the first anymore, but rather the signs. Food growth is still a bit there, but I would definitely like to train some units there as well. We continue up north again. I think our friendship with the Luluban is over soon, as I'm going to try and conquer them. A first ship. Political force can be For an outpost, we have research. Ocean. This unlocks us uh, some better ships, least. and we have finished the classical era. Righto. That's pretty good. We can now choose the next um, the next civilization. All right, before I continue with the next culture, let's um, go with ransacking this one. I think we have a good go here. Three turns it takes, and then we can take this one for us. The Greeks now feel, of course, a bit different towards us, right? We have that crisis there. No, we don't. They're still pleasant for us. Could still go with the... Nah, let's go with the non-aggression pact afterwards. So that's that. Memphis has nothing going on anymore, so we have finished the shared project. I could just go ahead with another, well, research quarter, most likely. We could also go with the library. Or, since we have 11 pops here, I might just... Yeah, I might just pop in another swordsman there. So, for my next culture, we're going medieval era then, the Franks. Um, in that case here, it's just fitting in a route there with the science boost of the scriptorium. Also, we get the crown lands plus 10 influence, a 10% influence, and we get the, uh, f well, Franki Milites, so a pretty strong uh, knight unit, more or less. But we do need the horses and the iron for that, but I'm pretty sure we can get this one. Let's adopt. Let's become the Franks. I guess it's fitting if we want to go to Germany. At some point, eventually. We also trained some units there on the way. Um, the ransacking is still ongoing. Memphis still needs something. Something with influence. Something with stability. We could get a fort out there. Somewhere for a bit of that. But it's not a very good bonus. Mm. Industry and river. One, two, three, four. Oh, yes, let's go with that. Let's get the watermill as a filler infrastructure project. Um, and for Hurikanga, stability is going up here again. We're getting some good, well, overall food in there. I could boost this one. No. I need to keep one over there. 
just to be sure. Um, stability is also not that fine here yet, so I might just put something with a bit of industry bonus. Not the watermill. We have not a single river tile on that city. It's insane, really. Um, but we do have... On my maker quarters. Nope, nope, it's also not really good. Ah, let's go with the school since we already are a bit into science here. And we have three research quarters. For my next science, we're going with the fortification as a filler science. Because that is another point then that we can get. Um, there's nothing else we could do with science right now. Why? Because we're locked out of the medieval era tech at the moment. Right? So let's go ahead. Let's become the Franks. Wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off. Greater empires build more powerful armies, but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations. It is brains versus brawn, with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. They may have had a mighty army, but to be honest, King of the Franks sounds like something you'd eat at a baseball game. Our cities are changing now quite a bit, as we can see, becoming real medieval towns. At least we keep the pyramids <laughs> in our empire. And with that, we have now the Franks. We have the Estide culture. We are focusing on Estide um, over there. And let's basically, it. once again, we need to choose our things. But now, I would like to have that. Yep, there we have it, the scriptorium. And that is just so powerful. It gives us faith and it gives me plus 16 on one of them, thanks to the adjacency bonus here. Let's pop one of these then as well. Um, and then, of course, we have this obligation here of building our special units that we need. Oh, I think we can also choose a new tenant. Yes, we can. We can do this. This one, we only have the option between four of them anymore. Um, stability on territories if territory follow the foreign if the territories follow foreign religion what we're going with the monument of course since we already finished um a monument so that 50 science gives me a nice permanent boost to my science income there that i would definitely like to follow by the way it's also pretty cool that basically all our territories are following us at this point that's actually almost all the territories in the world follow our religion <laughs> I think this is pretty cool. We call this one now... How should we call our religion? Alright, actually, you can squeeze in quite a lot of letters into this. Our religion, Knights of the Coconut, has been thus founded. And everybody has to follow our rules. The Greeks want a non-aggression pact. Money. Wait a second, Greeks. Are you trying to do something here? Yes, because I'm still not changing on that. Um, I still can go for the non-aggression factor, hopefully. And, yep, we can still ransack this one, no problem. Um, and I'm moving my second regiment now up here. There will be some big battles here to come. I can see that against the Luluban. And we also... Oh, we can also claim a new wonder. We can also claim something again. Very good. Forbidden City. Angkor Wat. Notre Dame. This is really just for faith and stability. And Todaiji, a bronze Buddha in the heart of complex. It's also just for faith, but 20% turns before being converted by other religion. 25 war support increased when going to war. That is pretty cool. And Angkor Wat gives me plus one food per faith. This is really powerful because we have a lot of faith at this point. I would also like to boost, further boost my, of course, my research. So in Huarikanga, once we finish that school, I can also build another a, a scriptorium here. So this is a, of course, a singular building that you can't spam. Um, this one gives me plus 12 influence here if I build it right in the city center. So let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, it's getting uh, some nice adjacency bonuses all around. We do have the harbor option over there. I don't have the Cothon any longer, right? No, I don't. Uh, I'm still profiting from them, but not any more than, than that, unfortunately. All right, we do have a bit of money there as well. I just want to check with the Persians. Trading with the Persians. They would have some dye. That is industry and stability for us. 400. Well, well. Go ahead Another and do this. Another empire has certainly left a mark on the world with this and cultural wonder. 
Oh, and the Persians has been forgiven uh, oppressing my people. How very kind. Thanks for that. How is it going with the ransacking? What is happening? Why did that stop? Oh! Okay, they made it part of their... Why is it now? No, I have no idea. Now we need to declare war if we want to do this action. I'm not doing this action, of course. No idea why this changed now from no war to war. I guess we'll have to focus then all our intentions now towards the north here. So I'm going to get my third regiment over there now. Because we need to expand all the way. This one would probably be a good city there with this territory as attachment. Next research, the fortification is coming up. We are medieval turn now, so uh, medieval time. We can now go into the new tech, um, as we can see. There's the heavy infantry. Now, the great swordsman is just so powerful. And before I go with the other stuff, I would like to go down this route, uh, road. So, war summons gives me the crossbowman, and the heavy infantry gives me the great swordsman. I want to unlock both of them before I do anything else, because they're just that powerful. Um, with feudalism, hmm, that would be something else, though. With feudalism, we do get the plus one food on food production. We get the colony model. So this is pretty good when I want to go over the ocean. ocean. And this one gives me then the chivalry that we have over there. And that's not bad because of our special unit here. The mil the, the milites that we have. 39 strength. They're Oh, they're better than the swordsmen. They're better than the swordsmen. All right, then let's actually go to jewelry right away. Yeah, let's go for this right away. They are so powerful, I want them. I want this unit. They are better than the great swordsman. Fortification has been researched, so that gives me the stone walls if I want them. It also gives me plus one combat strength when adjacent to an outpost. Land and freedom, we don't need that for now. Even though I do have a lot of influence, we could have a look at our civics there. Land rights, um, communal land, plus 10 food per number of attached territories on all cities, or inherited land allows to claim attached merged territories with money. Nah. Um, yeah, let's go with communal land. This plus 10 food is really powerful. Why should individual wealth and political connections determine the status of something as timeless as I do as like land? that. So our food is getting up there, even though we don't have to use anyone in that. And I don't want to use my money on claiming or attaching um, territories. We've sold our horses there to someone for 341. Very good. We don't lose the horses because of that. And I could get um, some iron from someone, perhaps. From the Celts. And Sif. I bid you greetings in the name of my... They don't even sell it to us. We have already purchased it from them. Yes. Uh, all right. Then I have to wait there a bit longer. And they don't have anything, really sell unfortunately um also our city here we do have some stability i might build my scriptorium here now too so then i have it in every city that's a nice bonus here adjacency bonus yeah so we're building the scriptorium now in every city Um, regarding the wonder that we still need to choose from, we do have those four options. And I think Anchor Watch here is the strongest one because of that food bonus per faith. We're pretty high on the faith, and this gives me a nice growth bonus overall beside the other uh, factors there. Notre Dame has the faith per research technology, but we do have a lot of faith already. Um, this one here is basically just 20% turns before being converted. Um, and Forbidden City gives me a bit of war support increase there. Nothing too serious though, so Anchor Watch it is. Let's claim this wonder for us. And we could build it now. It takes 37 turns. Of course, not that much I if we combine our forces there. The Greeks, let's counter that for an exchange of 850 coin. Uh, they refuse. No problem there. My next units are coming in and emerging from afar. Bang, bang, bang. A rebel of traitors ferrying strange wares are knocking on Memphis gates. Demanding an audience. They tell you they hail from far land. Having traveled many leagues along one of your fabled trade routes, they claim to offer merchandise that will be profitable. Consent or dismiss them. This one has a chance of unexpected consequences. 
consent with them. Let's go with that. And we'll just see what happens there. These units are arriving now too. Are they attacking? Who are you? You're the Lulubai. This would be a massive battle here. And I think we could go with that. Yep. I think we could have this battle now. And purge them already a bit. Let's do this. Let's have the manual battle. <laughs> That's a pretty big one. Um, I need to make sure that I have my troops in the right direction. So they can't get up here, right? No, they can't. So let's have my archers over there. I'm going to have my other archers over here. So we can attack down there with both of them. I'm going to keep my swordsmen here in order to save me from any flanking. There we have swordsmen, swordsmen. We have my veteran archers in the center. Probably going to push them a bit back. And this is looking good. Very good. We are attacking so we can start the attack. And let's just use my archers from up here first. Doing their damage. Could I attack? Oh, I can attack this far. Perfect. Right, they're trying to flank us here now. But I don't think they're, they can really do that much about it. Let's move up there in order to have a nice bonus there. Very good. And yeah, you can also attack over there. This is just perfect. They're dying like flies. And let's also continue that. They don't have any archers. That is very bad for them, really. As you really do need archers in this world. Seriously. Ah, that's the end of the turn already. So we need to wait there again. Pretty big, but they have really no chance. I don't think we're going to lose any any forces here. Let's end the turn. And let's continue right away. All no mercy. I mean, that's just really sad. But it's good for us, of course. Charge. Down, and that's it. They've lost eight units. We've lost zero. Very good. That's what happens when you use the terrain to your advantage. Um, and now this city is basically almost unprotected, I think. That would be open now for conquest. Um, in Memphis, we could build a second scriptorium. Oh, 17 science over there. Stability-wise, it's really bad, though. Um, we might build one of these. Yep, I would like to build one of my... Uh, obelisk because that gives me the 20 stability from it that we should really need uh well really want here um and there's memphis so we can have one over there basically which is still in the same territory right so we get that bonus there the human engine let's not wait on that and yeah basically that city is available now for conquest i think and we can move in there pretty soon stay tuned <laughs>